let us find out the separate or individual equations of a pair of straight lines ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So that means how to find out the individual equations or separate equations of a, a pair of straight lines which is in the form of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So let us have a discussion now. So consider that means how to find separate equations of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So this is our task. So now consider ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. Say this is 1. First let us suppose a does not equal to 0 or here b may be 0 or h may be 0 but here let us consider a does not equal to 0 first. Sometimes a may be 0 also no problem. If a may be 0 directly we get the factors that is nothing but the two equations, two separate equations easily we can find out. Or first let us consider case 1 no problem. Case 1. Suppose a equals to 0. Now, what does the equation 1 become? If a is equal to 0, the providing a is equal to 0, now it becomes, it becomes or it can be put, this is 0 plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. The next step follows, we have 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. Now the left hand side easily we can factorize it. So it can be factorized very simple manner. So here we can take the y common. So having been y taken common out we have 2hx plus by is equal to 0. So now we get a two equations. The one is y is equal to 0 and other one is 2hx plus by is equal to 0. These two represents straight lines. y is equal to 0 is the equation of the x axis itself only. So this is a this is the equation of a straight line which also passes through the origin. Both passes through the origin itself only. So this is a equals to 0. Suppose if you consider case 2, suppose a does not equal to 0, then what shall we do? So now even though a does not equal to 0, we are able to find out the separate equations or individual equations. So that means now again consider this one, consider ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. As a does not equal to 0, we can multiply both sides with a, no problem. Because a is not 0, a may be any arbitrary value. So if you multiply, no, actually the identity will not change. So that means multiply both sides with a. So multiply multiply both sides with a. So you may get one doubt. Why should we take a does not equal to 0? Can we take b does not equal to 0? Yes, you can consider the b does not equal to 0 also. The even you get the separate equations or individual equations. But here I consider the here a does not equal to 0. So now having been multiplied a on both sides, 
So now we get like this a square x square correct plus 2ahxy plus ab y square is equal to 0. Okay. Now just if you observe the first two terms of this left hand side that is a square x square and plus 2ahxy. So let us rearrange these two terms so as to apply the a plus b whole square formula. So that we have to keep in mind. So that means this we can write ax whole square which will be in the form of a square plus 2h sorry 2ax a and b becomes here hy plus a b y square equal to 0. So that means this is a square plus 2ab this is incomplete square. So if you complete if you add in addition to these two we add the third term then it becomes perfect square. So in order to make it perfect square what is to be added so just we have to think here see the term is b the b square has to be added and subtracted. So that is hy whole square is to be added and get it to be subtracted. So now this we can write ax whole square plus 2 times ax and hy plus this is b b term. So b square means hy whole square and plus aby square minus hy whole square equal to 0. So now check it. It makes no difference at all. Now if you consider these three terms, these three terms are in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. That can be put in the form of a plus b whole square. So we can write this is ax plus hy whole square. Nothing but this will be the expansion of this one. Okay. Plus here this can be written a b y square minus h square y square equal to 0. Now to make it to get it to be factorized here. So in the next step so we need to apply the formula a square minus b square whose pro, actually whose value equals to a plus b into a minus b. So as to put in that form first we have to write this one as in the form of a square minus b square form. So from the both these two terms let us take minus o square sorry minus y square common. So we get now ax plus hy whole square okay. From these two let us take minus y square common. If you take minus y square common we have h square minus ab equals to 0. So now this can be rewritten okay this can be rewritten for our convenience ax plus hy whole square minus can I write like, like this now y root of h square minus ab whole square equals to 0 just you check it this will be y square and again h square minus ab only. So now it is in the form of a square minus b square is equal to 0 or you can say something this is capital A this is capital B a square minus b square whose value is a plus b into a minus b. Okay now the left hand side can be factorized as ax plus hy plus y times root over h square minus ab equal to multiplied by sorry ax plus hy minus y times h square minus ab equal to 0. This is L1 this is L2 now separate equations we can write this y we can take out common ax plus y of h plus root of h square minus ab equal to 0 this is one equation the other equation will be ax plus y common h minus root of h square minus ab 
equal to 0. So, these two are the individual equations, separate equations of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. So, using these two formulae, we can find out the individual equations, separate equations of the pair of straight lines which is in the form of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. And one more thing you remember. If h square minus ab is greater than 0, then these two represents real lines, two real lines. Suppose if h square minus ab is equal to 0 or h square is equal to ab, then both represent same straight line because this will be 0, this will be 0. ax plus hy is equal to 0, ax plus hy is equal to 0. Both represent coincident lines. So now just think if h square minus ab is negative, h square minus ab is less than 0. So then the no real line we will get it that is imaginary lines but they pass through the origin. So these criteria we need to remember also that will be very very important for the competitive entrance examinations. The first note we need to remember that first note first point if h square minus ab greater than or equal to 0 then this pair of lines generally say that is s0 then they represent two distinct two distinct real lines suppose suppose if h square minus ab is equal to 0 that is h square is equal to ab they represent coincident lines coincident lines and whereas for example for example here also you can write no problem suppose if h square minus a b less than 0 they represent imaginary lines not real but they pass through the origin so in this way we can find out better you remember these two equations for any problem even in competitive entrance examination also it will be very very useful